I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Sherry Majeski. I'm the curator of the Mezzanine Gallery here at the Kauai Museum. Right now we have a very beautiful show of two artists, Helen Turner and Emily Miller. They are um, both fantastic technical artists in their own right. One is a pastel artist, the other is a watercolorist, mostly predominantly in this show. And just beautiful landscapes of Kauai, wonderful um, imagery. So I hope that you can come down and take a look at this show. The show is from November 17th until January 12th. You're at the Kauai Museum on Rice Street. And you are welcome to come, so please do. Aloha. Hi, Helen. Hello, how are you doing, Laurel? I am well, thank you. And I am just so pleased to see all of this west side visuals. I love the west side. It's wide open spaces. It reminds me a lot of home, but I've been here over 20 years, so home is now here on Kauai. I, uh, <clears throat> I like the way it looks with pastel. Well, that's an amazing piece right over there to your left. Um, is that salt pond? It actually is. Those are the rocks that keep people from driving into the salt pond area, and they cast a beautiful reflection. And it, the water is so deep red that it's, uh, it's just very attractive to a, an artist to capture that red color. It, the, the stones are so dense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. They're just so volumetric. There's a lot on this island that escapes the notice of people that live here. You have to look a little closer. We're so used to seeing the tourist version of Kauai, the Waimea Canyon, the, the Bali High, the Nepali coast. What Emily and I try to do is to uh, get out, hike around, take a lot of pictures. We try to capture the up close, the real uniqueness of what this island is. The, the red dirt. Yeah, the, the line from the salt ponds, absolutely. The, um, the greens of Kauai, why we call it the Garden Isle. I love to get into the greens here. There's, there's breadfruit, ulu, there's hao, there's banana. There's some incredible greens here. And uh, that's part of what makes it so refreshing, the greens and the blues and the reds all together. Just some of the pieces we do, we do from exploring, finding the, the off the beaten trail kind of pictures. Uh, this one here is taken way up and on the east side when you're uh, four wheeling on a Sunday afternoon and you just stop and go, oh my God, that's so pretty with all the water and the sun just came out, things like that. We just love to shoot that kind of stuff. And what we do generally is make a quick sketch while we're on the road, and then we, we take the picture to capture the light, and then go home and do it in our studio and make a bigger or smaller version, tweak the colors a little bit. We do a lot of exploring. That's the best part about living here. This particular piece, I call it tracks. And this is a very locals piece because one of our favorite places to go is Poli Holly. And if you, you gotta have a four-wheel drive because the sand is just too hot. So you go down there in the late afternoon and you just cruise around and you find your perfect spot. And that's, that's kind of the, what kind of paintings I like to do. People that live here, oh yeah, I love that spot, you know. This particular piece I had in the KSA show, a couple of shows back, I got an award for it, yay. I like to study water. Water in pastel is amazing because when you start to look at water, you notice there are so many colors in it. It's not just about clear water or blue water. Water is made up of grays and greens and purples. And when you stop and you freeze that image, suddenly it becomes this world of texture and color. This piece and another one that I have in this show, I actually shot this in uh, Kauai Village right by Safeway. You know, oh, in the water <laughs> you find picture. your inspiration a lot of places around here, can be anywhere. And uh, I was just looking and staring into this pond and I said, my God, isn't that pretty? It's very peaceful. So I call this piece pausing to reflect.
always like local scenes and uh, local uh, items such as uh, the breadfruit is uh, real nice and uh, local plants. I think that uh, living in paradise as we are, it uh, always helps to have remembrances available. Each of the artists in their own favorite medium did a portrait of, of the other. On the left is a picture of Emily done by Helen. And on the right is a picture of Helen done by Emily. On the left is the pastel, on the right is the watercolor. And they are wonderful expressions of their mutual admiration for each other. I've known Emily for um, probably about three or four years now. And I've also known Helen Turner. I'm very impressed with both of their artistic skills. And I'm very privileged to uh, spend quite a bit of time with Emily and work on projects with her. And her artistic abilities uh, really amplify what we're able to do together. Hi, Emily. Uh, what am I? What am I looking at right here? Uh, this is a scene of a group of people fishing oama at Aliamanu on the east side of Kauai. And you like to just depict what you see? Yeah, it's really um, it's a local scene. I mean, this is the kind of thing that anyone would see driving down the little country roads on Kauai. Um, and it's a really also um, it's ohana, and I wanted to depict the really kind of aloha spirit of Kauai, and that's. Um, you know, that's what I got out of it. So that's driving around on a on a Sunday. Yep, basically. Driving Just around on Sunday with my camera. <laughs> so you'll take a picture, a photograph, and then have that as a reference that you're going to use for developing. Usually, a that's what I do um, because I work in such detail. It's easier for me to go back um, back home and paint it. It would take so long to do this. Out, you know, out on location, but I do plan air sketches also. Sometimes I work from both. I'll do a sketch on location and, and take some photos, and then I'll do a finished painting from both. So do you have an idea of what it is that you're looking for when you go out, or do you just see it? Um, kind of both. I mean, sometimes I go out with a specific idea in mind. You know, I want to get this piece, and the ornamental banana was actually one of those that I was specifically looking for that to shoot. But sometimes, you know, I'm just out going to the beach having fun, and uh -huh. I try to bring my camera with me wherever I go, because I never know when I'm going to get a really good shot. Um, I like to do this sort of floral or fruit kind of thing that's really, um, well, ornamental, almost Baroque, really um, complicated, bright colors. It's, you know, it's a kind of small thing that, you, you know, you walk past it every day here on Kauai and maybe you don't always look at it, but that's really where beauty lies for me. It's in the small things. Well, this is a painting of the Alaikoko or Menuhune fish pond out in Niamalu, right in Lihue. And um, it, it was one of my favorite places to go. I live right by here, actually, and it's just such a beautiful, magical place. It almost looks like a fantasy painting if you're not familiar with the scene, but it's, you know, it's true to life. So did you take a photo of this one as well? I took many photos of this to get this painting. Why did you choose to do a gray sky? Um, I think actually the mist coming in on the fish pond is one of the most beautiful things about it. You know, just when it's about to start to rain, just before it does. And a blue sky is always beautiful, but it's, um, it's something that's really classic kawaii, you know, and I wanted to do something different. Because when we live here, you know, it rains all the time. But when people come here, they don't really think about this as a rainy place. But it is. And I wanted to show that that's beautiful, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
this is my daughter's paintings, and I'm her mom, and I'm so proud of her. She's doing amazing work, and I just love her so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm Patrick, Emily's boyfriend, and um, I'm really proud of her and um, Helen, who's uh, helped her a lot, and I um, uh, hope you enjoy all the pieces.